are your parents? I saw their vacationing separately. Stop. Can't you see you're embarrassing Josh? He didn't come here to be grilled. He came here to keep it real with some po' folk, right, Josh? Hey, Harris, go grab me a little moonshine out of the garage for your people. Sure. Don't take any crap from them. <laughs> you have a nice smile, son. Hard to do that without a head. If the time comes when you and my granddaughter break up, you better treat her right. To show you I'm not just a vengeful old guy, I'll give you a piece of advice. Keep those two out of your house. or after your father. <laughs>10 escalating tensions today as protests continue into another week on university campuses all across the country. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the News at 10. I'm Rick Chambers. And I'm Kareen Winter here in Southern California. Demonstrations grew today over the war in Gaza as thousands of anti-war protesters at UCLA were met by counter demonstrators. And there are reports of at least one injury after a security barrier was breached. UCLA, though, condemning any kind of violence or physical altercations at these protests. KTLA's Rachel Menatoff joins us live from UCLA campus tonight with the very latest. Rachel. Kareen Rick, good evening to you both. Campus obviously very quiet right now, but earlier during dueling protests, it was oftentimes loud, rambunctious, and tense with pro-Israel and pro-Palestinian supporters coming face-to-face -face in heated confrontations. Hundreds of demonstrators flooded UCLA's main campus Sunday, each with their own list of hopes and demands. Pro-Israel supporters calling for recognition of the October 7th surprise attack and mass killings, as well as the release of hundreds of hostages who remain captive in Gaza. The 133 remaining hostages um, are not being spoken up for in a loud enough way, and that's why we wanted to come out and represent. It's been four days since pro-Palestinian grads and undergrads set up an encampment on Royce Quad, promising to stay put in solidarity with the people of Gaza. Free Palestine! Free! Free Palestine! They say they're focused on the loss of life, which according to the Hamas-run health ministry stands at 34,000 Gazans killed in the war between Israel and Hamas. You know, we're making sure that our presence is known and we're demanding that they acknowledge the ongoing genocide in Gaza and denounce their complicity in it and divest. Heated exchanges, disagreement and confrontation between and among protesters and counter protesters, including this. <laughs> At one point, a pro-Israel demonstrator is either pushed or falls to the ground. She's seen carried out of the crowd with visible injuries to her head. UCLA released a statement condemning any physical altercations, saying, UCLA has a long history of being a place of peaceful protest, and we are heartbroken about the violence that broke out. Those standing in solidarity with Gaza say their counter-protesters were provoking their peaceful display. I'm here to support the people. I'm here for humanity. The goal they do is to provoke us, and we are trying not to be affected by them. Many Jewish demonstrators, though, say the rhetoric used by those in the encampment is overtly anti-Semitic. A lot of violent chants from the river to the sea, uh, which means extinguishing Israel. Uh, and uh, it's, it's very sad that uh, there are these people that, want, that don't want us around anymore. And UCLA says it's beefing up security tonight. Campus security is guarding the encampment, and it's blocked off the area to the general public. Also, in its statement tonight, the university is asking people to engage respectfully and recognize one another's humanity. We're live in Westwood on the UCLA campus. I'm Rachel Menatoff. Rick Kareen, back to you in the studio. All right, Rachel, thanks so much. And USC reopened its campus to students, faculty, and staff this evening after a tactical alert closed the campus last night following the return of pro-Palestinian protesters. Now let's go to Carlos Soceto. He's live at USC tonight where officials are keeping a close eye on who they let on that campus. Carlos? Hey, Rick Kareen, the campus is closed to the general public. Most gates, like the one behind me, they are shut down. Only students, faculty, and staff are allowed entry at two designated spots.